sunny spring weather finally came to Ireland. Over the last couple of weeks, our scraw rolls, which are going to be a key component in a medieval roundhouse roof, seem to have been drying well and losing weight. Laying at the side of this bog road, the squirrels are yet far from their destiny on the roundhouse roof, but we'll get there later in this episode. Enjoy. Are we happy how well they dried? Um, we took them out here, saturated, like it dunked in a in a in a bath of water. It yeah. makes such a difference. Yeah. Some of them you can you can just lift up and it, it weighs nothing. I'd say these ones, they'd be like three quarters dry. Uh huh. As seen in our previous roundhouse episode, we harvested these scrawl rolls in the middle of winter. Not a great time for the job. That previous episode is still worth checking out as we learned all about the harvest and historical use of these rolls here in Ireland. In the end, we spent seven half days cutting them. As we had to get used to the difficult skill of cutting them, it took us probably a lot longer than back in the days as a survey from 1802 said An active man can cut from 30 to 40 sods in a day and their general price is a penny We now have about 50 to 60 rolls <coughs> This had to be the last day of harvesting scraws sure This one is extra anyway Smooth no, I was. Right. I hope we hope we never return again to dig. It will be grand. Come here. It will be golden. Oh. The parts about this place. You can't do nothing without getting wrecked. Hmm? You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. In the scotta. The muck. You think it was our last day harvesting scraw, Dylan? We will see. I, uh, I will tell you as soon as all this is on the roof and beyond. A broad net. <laughs> a brad, a brad on the roof. And then we will know. Then we will know. Instead of doing Smooth fix. mathematical uh, formulas, you know, don't really know how it's gonna plan out. I mean, in theory, this fix. shrinks too, so maybe we need way more. Hmm? How about that? 
and in theory it needs to overlap, then we also need way more. <laughs> then there was silence. Join us on this bushcraft adventure into history, building an Irish Celtic roundhouse from the Iron Age and medieval times. Every Friday, a new episode until the roof is finally finished. There's new crew to the team. This is Jobs, the pony, and another cousin, Meryl. Good boy, Chubby. Good boy. You're the best boy. Good boy. Good boy. Well done. Grassy side out, huh? Or not? Uh, the grassy side goes on the outside, yes. L looks like a two man jaw. How does that look? Yeah. Something. Made for us. Hmm? Next one, huh? First scroll. <laughs> we have officially started the roof. August was the last time we were we up there. Two, 260 days later, finally. First cross, my man. It's heavy, you know. Well, I didn't know scrawls was a one-man job, Dylan. We'll bring in the other ladder from the other side. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, looking good, Dower. <laughs> it's no hustle at all. Mate, this ladder is crooked as food. Huh? Ho, ho, ho. What? I'm gonna walk on that with a big. <laughs> Roll a thing. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. If no. you can't do that, sure, I shouldn't get on there at all. <laughs> Up a small bit, maybe. I 
I don't know what what have we going on here now. You have silky handy? Yeah. Do you need to cut that? Yeah. <laughs> Yay, nice one. Well, up there. You sure? <laughs> <laughs> Don't kill that one. Sideways on a smooth. This is where we put our ladder, man. It'll be grand. <laughs> down, down, down. Don't waste our, our strength. Sideways on the big one, that's yes, grand. It's, it's too risky for our landers to break with this kind of weight and for ourselves. Yeah, that's, that's grand. Nice. Great now. Ooh. I'm gonna get the hammer and the packs. Oh, 
Superstar, you're a superstar. Well done. Jesus, my scarf is flying around. <laughs> He's a great pony, isn't he? So well. Go on, so Dylan. Yup, yup, yup. To the three! My right, buddy, let's go. Slowly. Slowly. Good boy. Is it heavy? Probably. <laughs> oh, la. Oh. In the tree. <laughs> Super pony. Well done. Now he's having a break here. Chucks, <laughs> and also ourselves. Have a little break here at the tree before continuing the eight kilometer journey back to the roundhouse. Here on this bog, locals have been providing in their fuel needs for generations long. People came down here to cut their winter supply of turf for heating their houses. On one of these days on the bog, we meet Brandon, a real local Irishman and the owner of this bog segment. He's hand turning his machine cut turf. It says cut a month. Uh -huh. So I'm trying to turn the rows. Uh -huh. I'm badly able to do it. I'm badly able to do it. No, I didn't think come to bog this ever. They have heard anymore. Coming to this bog for 60 years. Uh -huh. And how, how long has this bog been in your family? Oh, for five generations. I've all mapped Sabbath Love. It says, nice. it says yeah, yeah. Everyone, when you bought a bit of land, you got a bit of bog with the land. Yeah, and yeah. days gone by, you bought your own hair to be a land. Yeah, yeah. It was usually a bit of bag wood. It was a great idea because it provided fuel for your house, to heat your house and help raise your kids, you know. And what about parties on the bog? You'd have what did you say, love? What about parties on the bog? You'd have the camp... You'd oh, you'd have a big fire to boil the kettle. Your job to watch the eggs, your job to watch the kettle. And they'd have a big meal and a great chat. So they were working big numbers at the time. Yeah, it was yeah. nice and simple way of life. And everybody helps everybody else today. Now nobody's any time for anyone. Yeah, yeah. You know, all gone now. All gone now, Merlo, all gone. Yeah. No money out of it anymore. You know what I mean? Yeah. This was the old culture years ago, you know? Yeah. Well, they're all preserved now, of course, you know? The so, memories are so Oh, good. yeah, yeah. The good stories. There was good <laughs> stories, yeah. There was great stories. There was great stories in years gone by. Most turf had been harvested commercially these days. Way bigger box than this one. But also these are closed down now, as turf is an inefficient fuel with high carbon emissions. And especially degradation of these bogs by drainage and fires leads to high emissions from the bog itself and natural habitat loss. For the better, the era of fossil fuels comes to an end. But I also feel huge respect for the hard work and culture that was practiced here for many generations long. Cutting turf on the bog. Nice glasses, man. Hey, Julius, why don't you uh, put your glasses on, man? Okay, okay. Where'd you get them? My old glasses, both legs broke, so I found old uh, sunglasses, popped out the glasses themselves and put the old frame in that, so it's double framed. It's a new hype, it's a new cool. It, no, it works. Uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> being here in Ireland in the middle of nowhere, you have to do with what you find. Let's talk let's some scraws. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> let's talk some scraws. The awkwardness weighs more than the weight. Yes, and, and all the rolling, it wouldn't be good for the... No, so we did a good bit of rolling, like rolling in the trailer, rolling out, and like they just start to crumble, you know, and, uh -huh. and rip, which is not great. 
No. So yeah, we've been we've been hauling the jeep and the trailer. Man, it's <sighs> talking about luxury. So we got a bunch to location, which is nice. Talking about luxury, the initial aim I think was to to not do so much with the with jeeps and and vehicles and the likes, but. Our donkey cart wouldn't last all that round. No. <laughs> no chance. We, we'd be moving a week or two. Yeah. It is seven and a half kilometers to the roundhouse. And you'd be walking that with the donkey up and down. It takes you one and a half hours each way. Unload, load. So you're talking almost one load, half a day. <laughs> yeah. And then you can only bring three, uh, three rolls. Two boy jobs. Well, we have nine rolls left. Three trips we're planning. Yes. Nine rolls all together, so three rolls in, in a cart, in a load. Uh-huh. Yeah, let's have a little faith that uh, they will have a good journey. Fun. Okay, next chapter. Yeah. Well, no. To be continued. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, hang on, hang on. Move over? No, I can move the ladder. And we have a pole or something. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because this one is leaking like Ooh. like there about like yeah. We have another guest dock today again. It's from our other cousin. And his name is Raimi. Can you have it for a second? Yeah. Okay, another bit? Maybe first the skull. Yeah. <laughs> come, Jaeger, come. Oh boy. Mate, it's a bit rough, mate. Uh huh. It's not good. Huh? It's not good. I hope our roof will uh, be happy. <laughs>
Easy. Okay. It's rough, rough as anything, isn't it? I think the other side. I have no footing, he has no footing. My yoke is all over the shop. <laughs> and the cameras are on us. Oh. Just him in the middle, no? Slowly. Slowly. Boy. Boy, well done. Keep your footing, mister. Keep your footing, it's heavy. It's heavy. Boy, jumps. Well done. Well done. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> well, we have some damage. You think it's damage? Well, there's definitely more. There's a bigger gap there, you know. Will I will I make a step or what do you think? Yeah, yeah, sure, but I'm going to try and mine this wheel, I think. Ugh. How are we getting on? It's a bumpy as hell than the next bit. I know, but sure. Look, it can Ooh. fall to pieces. Yeah, just keep, really keep an eye on it. Yeah. Come on, Chubbs, come on. Okay, yeah, got out. Slowly. 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 We need pit stop, man. It's gonna fall apart any second. Actually now it is. I don't think we can even go into the field. Yeah it's any minute now. Or I'm just gonna put it right here. Yeah. Okay. Can we unload with the scrolls in it? Oh you mean you we're just gonna leave the scrolls in it and take the cart off that would be the smoothest wouldn't it? Okay. I kind of really was nervous this would happen. Yeah. Um, there was like a big hop in the middle of the field. Oh, was there? Oh. And then just after the gate, <laughs> it went off on one wheel. <laughs> oh no! Oh. We jumped over a stone. I'm so sorry, Julius. Well, Tom said he had a. Did you say he had one below in the shed? A we Oh, a, a wheel? Yeah. Did he? Yeah, he said he did. Where is he? In the field doing the thing. <laughs> Good boy, Jobbers. Well done. The roundhouse built couldn't be on hold for any longer. We had to quickly come up with a fix for the wheel while continuing the build. All of that you will see in the next episode, where we also light the first well, fire in the darkened roundhouse. First fire, hour With this, the roof on. This something. Subscribe and tune in on the Smoothfix Roundhouse Friday. Thanks a lot for your great support and we see you on the next one.